is going on my amazing YouTube family? How we doing today? So, I want to take you through my back and buys workout. It was an awesome pool workout. I'm very sore from this actually. So, first we started out with reverse grip. So, underhand, underhand grip, barbell rows. Um, we did five sets of this. So, the first set was for 15. I did it just with the 45 on each side. Um, then I did 12 reps. 9 reps, 6 reps, and then 6 reps. Now keep in mind, my form is not the best on these. You know, I cheated a little bit on my form. Um, the biggest thing was, guys, I was trying to lift a little bit heavier in this back workout. So if you follow me closely, you know, I always say how I lift. Um, you know, I do a lot of uh, compound lifts. I lift multiple times per week the same muscle. I try to lift each muscle twice a week. So that's why my form isn't the best today. Um, I'm aware of it, but the biggest thing is, you know, trying to lift heavy, really focusing on getting the weight up um, and just, you know, lifting heavy, progressively overloading each set. So next we move on to T-bar rows. Um, with the T-bar rows, this was four sets of 12 to 15. Real simple, just trying to get within that range. That was the biggest thing. Um, we got multiple views on. I think this one I did, I want to say it was three plates it looks like. Yeah, I had three plates stacked on this one. So this was my second set. Um, and then I dove into a third set and I popped on another 45. So I did four 45s. And then for my fourth set, um, I ended up going a little too heavy. I went to about, I think it was four, four 45s out of 25. That's what it was. And you, you can see my form, you know, I'm cheating a little bit. But the biggest thing, guys, again, is getting used to that heavy weight. Because I'm going to hit back again the, the end of the week. Um, and I'm also, you know, when I hit back again this time, I'll really focus on time and retention and, you know, my form. So um, next, I went into some lat pull downs, really going super wide on these lat pull downs. Um, this, guys, was four sets of 15, 10, 8, and 8. So again, progressively overloading on each set, just adding the weight on, trying to get stronger each time through. Really just focusing on, again, the muscle, um, also, you know, that contraction at the bottom. That's so key. Um, you know, when you, when you really squeeze the bottom of the set. So I love this movement. It really hits the outside, you know, part of your back, the lats. Um, it's great for just building up, you know, building width to your back. I think lat pull downs are a great alternative. Um, usually when I lift on my heavy days for back, I like to do pull ups with like weight on my back. So I can actual pull up or a lat, you know, a, um, verse grip chin up. But the thing is, is that or chin up, excuse me. But the thing is, is that I just wanted to switch it up. I was doing them for a while, so that's why I did these lat pull downs. Um, I'm gonna hit these again at the end of the week again when I do my second back workout. So, but yeah, I really love those. Now this is a really cool exercise, guys. This is a seated or wide grip seated row. So as you can see, I used the same bar for the lat pull down for this row. I gripped super wide out there, and I when I, keep in mind when I come back and squeeze, okay. The biggest thing is really focus on squeezing the traps actually. And imagine as if there's a quarter in between your traps and you're trying to squeeze that shoulder or squeeze your shoulder blades, you know, together with that quarter or in between the quarter. So um, you really this really focus on the upper part of the back. You know, a lot of the rhomboids, it also hits, you know, your uh, your rear delts. It really targets your rear delts. So and then I actually superseted it with a rear delt workout, or rear delt fly. So this was rear delt flies. Um, I think I did, yeah, I did 15 reps with this. So again, just to reiterate, it was five sets for both. So five sets for the first move, the pulls. Um, it's 15, 12, 10, 10, 10. And then these are five sets of 15. So the rear delt flies are five sets of 15. And again, I just wanted to show you from a different view what it looks like. So again, you know, five sets of this, 15, 12, 10, 10, 10, and then the rear delt flies, I super set with that, and I do the rear delt dumbbell flies for five sets of 15. I absolutely love those. I love hitting the rear delts. It's something I used to always neglect um, in the gym, and I think it's a really important muscle to hit because if you over, the problem is if you work your front delts and your, and your lateral delts too much, what starts to happen is your shoulders round forward, and you actually can put your shoulders in a very vulnerable state. You know, you can put yourself up, set yourself up for injury if you don't target your rear delts. So that's why, you know, I, I was doing the flies. You know, I really try to focus on my rear delts now. And also, it just makes your triceps actually look a lot better when you do those rear delts. So, 
Um, yeah, I absolutely love this exercise. The biggest thing is really trying to squeeze at the top too. You know, again, focusing on um, the squeeze, the contraction at the top. And I didn't go too, you know, I wasn't really like focused on my time and retention again today, just because it wasn't a, uh, you know, it wasn't my hypertrophy day. This was more of like building strength. So then I went to two last things, or one last thing, I actually did barbell curls. So I did this. Um, this was actually three sets of 12, real simple. I didn't do that much weight. Um, the thing is, you know, I have, I feel if my, um, if I really yank my, my arms back, so my elbows are really far back, I can do a, I do a lot less weight and my biceps are so much more sore the next day. So I'm going to show you another angle to this. Um, but again, guys, this is the very end right here. And I appreciate all your time and watching in and stay tuned for the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.